In this full day of eating episode, I'm showing you delicious high protein meals, workout tips, van life updates, and a ton more. Enjoy. All right, so I just finished coaching my clients this morning. I had a banana already. And now, I'm about to go off to the gym. This is gonna be the first video that I've recorded, first vlog at least, in the new house. It is so freaking nice. My parents are so hyped, and I'm super excited to be able to leave them for van life, and they're in this wonderful place. It's so freaking awesome. So I just had a banana, like you saw, and uh, I'm also gonna have an apple, kind of like my little pre-workout carbs. I actually wanna show you guys something that I found was kind of gross. So, I started using a knife to scrape an apple to see how much wax was on it. Can you see how much is, does that blow your mind too or is it just me? Is it is that normal? I asked people and some of them were saying like, oh that's fine, the, the wax is not toxic, but it just feels like, it feels like a lot of wax, I'm just saying. Anyways, I'm off to the gym to hit a leg day and then when I get back, I'm gonna show you guys some freaking awesome meals. I have like three of them that I'm super excited about. One I've never tried before, one from Moby's Cookbook. It's gonna be a really good one. They're all super high protein really delicious, so I hope you'll stick around and enjoy this with me. I'm going to the gym. All right, leg day. I want to talk to you guys about two things. Last week, I took an entire rest week, and a lot of people will, you know, go back and forth between whether deload weeks or rest weeks are better. For me personally, I like to just take a full rest week, which basically just means I'm doing very minimal cardio and some stretching, but that's just about it. It gives me a full central nervous system, you know, rest. But because I took that whole rest week, when I come back, my first workout for each muscle group, I like to go nice and light, really feel the, the, the form out, and not try to push new weights, new PRs, because you never know how your body's gotten tight over that week. You never know if you've kind of lost the proprioception of something. And so for this set of uh, squats, I did 175 for very slow uh, sets of 10, 8, 6, 6, and then 4. And this was really just to make sure that my obliques are turned on. I'm getting all the way down. I'm keeping my core braced and I'm not letting my butt wink at the bottom of the motion. Uh, and today it was a really solid workout. After the squats, I did all my normal accessories, leg extensions, curls, calves, and a simple but really solid effective workout. I'm in my favorite place in the world. The pantry. Oh, I messed it up. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> the pantry. Do it. Do it. There we go. Sam had one job and it was to zoom in. And somehow she screwed it up. Anyways, this is the pantry of my parents' house and it's freaking dope. Never had a pantry this large. But anyways, I've got my textured vegetable protein. There is nine grams of protein in this per serving one gram of fat. This is basically pure protein. And we are going to make a buffalo ranch chicken salad wrap thing. It's gonna be freaking dope. This is one you should definitely try. Let's make it. Good job, Sam. Way to go. <laughs> You just don't like buffalo. Mm -hmm. So much protein. Amazing. So good. Mm. Mm. The rest is mine. Sam has no. another plate. <laughs> Sam has another plate. I feed her. 
So today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. They make premium mattresses that are customized to fit your needs and they're conveniently shipped right to your front door. I'm stoked because uh, now that the move is over, no more crappy Airbnb beds. I was so over them. We're finally able to get our new mattress set up so we can enjoy it for the next few weeks before van life starts. So I've been sleeping on a Helix mattress for about two years now. One of the really cool things is that they know everybody sleeps differently. So they have a personalized sleep quiz you take online where you basically answer questions about your sleep preferences, like your preferred firmness, what kind of position you sleep in, what your body type is like, a few other questions, and then it'll give you a personalized recommendation. Now for me personally, I'm a back and sometimes a side sleeper and being over 200 pounds, I definitely need a firmer mattress. So when I go through the quiz, it actually suggested that I get a Twilight Lux, which I got in a queen and me and Sammy ever since we slept on it the first time we've fallen in love with it freaking love it. It's amazing. So the way that it works is they ship the mattress to your door completely for free in the US and the mattress comes rolled up in a box. So you just take that box into the room that you're going to set the bed up in. You open up the box, you slice open the packaging and then the bed just kind of opens up and unfolds. It's super freaking easy. I personally am a very hot sleeper. A lot of times with my previous mattresses, I will wake up in a pool of sweat in the middle of the night and I hate that. So one of my favorite parts about Helix is that they actually use materials that trap less heat and it also allows for better airflow throughout the mattress. That way I don't wake up in a pool of sweat. Also, if getting a mattress online is a little scary and it feels a little weird the first time you do it, they do this really cool 100 night sleep trial where basically you get to try out the mattress and if you don't love it by the end of a little over three months, you can just ship it back and get a refund. Helix mattresses also include a 10 year warranty and they also offer financing options and flexible payment plans. So if this is something that you're interested in, which you should be, you gotta check them out. They gave me a special link that will get you up to $200 off as well as two free pillows. I'll put a link to that in the description below and the pinned comment in the comment section. Check it out. Now, let's get this next meal going. I'm too fast for you. Up top, down low. Oh, 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 you cheat. You cheat and you can't just attack for no reason. You gotta catch me. Oh, God. Oh, crazy job. Okay, so Jacoby, I had to put her out because she got a little crazy. But I just picked up some new toys. So I got this wireless lapel mic because um, on the road, I know we're not gonna have as much space. So I wanted something more compact. So I have two wireless lapel mics. Uh, that way, if I like interview somebody to a podcast, I can put one on me, one on them. But also I wanna go into like, you know, whenever I'm like in a popular city, I wanna go and just do public interviews. You know, like when you think of the word vegan, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Or like, what's the worst thing that you can think of? Or what's the best thing you can think of? <laughs> <laughs> like that kind of stuff. So this is the first time I've tested this system. Hopefully the audio sounds good. I guess we'll find out. Okay, I think that's how I'd be wearing it like this. So this is the official test. What do we think? Does it sound all right? I'm gonna play the back of the clip, find out. Okay, so Moby sent me his recipe book a long time ago from the Little Pine restaurant, which he has in LA, and they have some really, really good food. And so, finally cracked it open. And I wanna show you guys this recipe. It's a frittata egg bake. So it's basically like a quiche kind of a thing. You guys can keep playing it if you wanna drop it like a couple levels of volume, but I have a lapel mic now. So here's what we're trying to make it look like. I think I'm gonna get pretty close to that. And if you want to, you can, uh, you can pause if you wanna see all the ingredients. Right there. And there's the instructions. You know what, I think I might just throw a picture on screen, but I'll walk you through it too. Cutting some baby red potatoes in half. And then we're just dropping these in some boiling water until these get tender. Okay, and then he wants us to take an onion, a leek, and garlic. I've actually never cooked with leeks before. I've seen them a million times. I'm actually really excited to do this. So we're gonna take half of the onion, mince it up. We're gonna take just the white part of the leek and cut it really finely and then we're gonna take about four cloves of garlic and we're gonna saute it. Mm, smells really good. Yeah. Woo. Well, I need my eye though. 
Okay, now while those things are boiling and sauteing, this is the part of every recipe that makes it look way long. You have this big old list of different spices and stuff, but it's really not that long. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't make the recipe difficult, it just makes it flavorful, but it's, it's scary. But I'm about to put all this stuff together. So it says, in a food processor, combine the chickpea mixture, which is a cup of chickpea flour with a cup of water. I mix it up and then let it set in the fridge for about 15 minutes. A little bit of some tofu, four ounces of it. Nutritional yeast, kala namak, which is salt that has a lot of sulfur, so it has like an eggy flavor to it. It's really good. Huge tip if you're making, uh, you know, egg kind of stuff as a vegan. Baking powder, turmeric, salt, onion powder, black pepper, and chili powder. We're gonna blend it all up. So I'm gonna put all that stuff into this processor. That was a fun little bike ride. I really wanted to try to drone around a little bit. So here's what we're looking like coming out the oven and to top it off, just a little bit of some green onions. Oh yeah. And that, my friends, looks pretty damn good. A little egg frittata bake. Cannot wait to try it. Are you excited? I'm so excited. I love these eggs. What are they made out of? Chickpea flour. Chickpea flour eggs. They're so good. They're like my favorite. And Brian wasn't really a fan of them at first, but they're literally like my favorite. They're so good. So I'm really excited to try this. Me too. All right, let's serve it up. All right, time to taste test this taste bad test girl. My favorite part of these videos. Also, I just want to point out that yes, I'm aware I look like a Chippendale. <laughs> if you're not wearing, great. if you're not wearing a shirt, there's only one way to put the lapel mic around your head, which is like a Chippendale. So deal with it. Also, I know Moby would probably not want me to do this, but I mean, I'm not gonna have, I'm not gonna have eggs without a lick of testosterone boosting ketchup. All right, you ready? It smells like eggs. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh my gosh. Fire. Fire. Is it good? This is Sammy's happy dance. It's so good, I love it. <laughs> so I've never really been a, a huge fan of like the chickpea flour version mm -hmm. of vegan scrambles. I've always enjoyed tofu. Mixing them together is a great choice on his part. It is like definitely a little bit thicker than uh, like just egg or if you're just to scramble tofu. But uh, put a little ketchup, just like this. It's really good. Mmm. Oh yeah. That's delicious. So I have half the pie going down here. I don't know if you noticed, chickpea flour has a ton of protein. You got tofu in there that has a ton of protein. Nutritional yeast in there that has a ton of protein. This is a meal that you can have to get. Lots of protein. A lot of protein. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, try this one out for sure. I have a little bit of, I, basically I have to upload all of this stuff to my computer, I have like all the drone footage and stuff. So I'm gonna eat this while I do that. And then we got one more meal. And this last one might be the best one. Okay, so I have something completely pointless to tell you, but I have to tell you this. Last night I was, I was sleeping and I had the weirdest dreams. I had three different weird dreams. I had a dream that there were superheroes and that one guy was named like Quadra Super Breath Man. Stupid. But I had a dream about healthy, crazy, cool Miles. 
and he was walking around my hometown, San Diego, and I was like, Miles, what are you doing here? And then he just started telling me about these killer roosters. And he was like, they're not chickens. I know you think you know what I'm talking about. They're roosters with these razor sharp beaks and they were attacking me and I almost died. <laughs> he was telling me about this whole thing about how he almost died and he was bleeding so much. And in the dream, cause you know dreams get wacky, but in my dream I was like, I don't, what? I don't know if I believe you, Miles. Killer chickens? And he, he was like, I'm gonna show you. And then I woke up, but I don't know. I just had to share that with you guys because I had to share it with somebody. My dreams have been wacky lately because I've been sleeping pretty good. Okay, back to work, and then we're gonna get the next meal in. All right, for this next meal, we're gonna start by making a sauce. We're doing a cheesy garlic sauce, and if you wanna just get the ingredients, here it is, but I'll show you how to make this right now. So we've got half a cup of chickpeas in there. We're gonna put a quarter cup plus two tablespoons of water in there, two tablespoons of lemon juice, a quarter cup of cashews, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, my favorite ingredient, basically, as of late, two cloves of garlic, or basically a half tablespoon of garlic, Raw. A quarter teaspoon of oregano, and finally just a pinch of salt, or as much salt as you want. We are going to blend this. Okay, and there we have it. Our sauce is ready. Now what are we gonna put it on? All right, so one of my favorite go-tos is to have a big batch of brown rice already cooked in your fridge. Open up a can of some chickpeas, just heating them both up in the microwave. This is the bed or the base of this meal. And from here, you just build however you wanna build it. So I've got some kale that I wanted to finish off in the fridge. I've got some mushrooms that I just kind of ripped up with my fingers into little pieces. Then I've had like some mixed vegetables, green beans, carrots, corn, all sorts of stuff like that. So we're just gonna throw that on top. We're gonna take our really tasty sauce and apply generously. And of course, it's not a meal if you don't put garnishes on it. Basically, these are the two best garnishes you can have because it just makes everything look way better. So a little bit of some red cabbage on there and to top it off, some green onions. A little sriracha for the color contrast and one of the prettiest meals you've seen on this channel, booyah. boy is full. You gotta eat big to get big. But at the end of the night, I swear, after eating all that food, you go to bed feeling like you're, you're pregnant with a food baby. So last thing I'm having for the end of the night is a scoop of the Vivo Perform Protein, a little bit of some ripple milk in here, just to get a little bit of extra protein. Although today, the meals were pretty high protein, so I don't even know if I need to do that. Force habit. If you wanna get any supplements from Vivo, they're the best brand on earth. You can use my code Brian10, get you 10% off. Help support your boy as well. Get swole. Okay, so last thing I did want to show you guys, for those of you who are real supporters of the channel and you know the van life thing is coming up and you're stoked for us, finally a big step uh, was actually routing out where we're gonna go. And I want to show you kind of our rough draft of what that looks like. All right, so at some point I'll go over this in much more detail, but we're starting down here in Arizona. We're gonna go down to San Diego, then up through LA, see a bunch of our friends, and then we're going to be going to Sequoia, Yosemite. We're gonna stop in Sacramento, see a couple of friends up there, San Francisco, Lake Tahoe. We're just gonna keep going up through Oregon, all the way up through Washington. We're even gonna take a little trip up to Vancouver. Guess who we're gonna see there? We'll find out. And we're gonna go back through Spokane Glacier, all the way around, come through Montana, come through Wyoming, Wyoming, Utah, and then when we get to Utah here, we're basically gonna have to say, uh, are we tired of this or not? If we aren't, then we're gonna keep going over into Texas and New Mexico. If we're tired of it, we're just gonna kind of round ourselves back out here and that'll be the end of the trip. Again, rough, but if you have any suggestions, if you live in any of these areas, you want us to say hi to you, or if you're willing to have a stay at your house, whatever, let us know. But I just wanted to get that out for those of you who are, who are interested. I hope you guys have been doing excellently. I have been doing really good since we got here. I am so happy that a lot of these projects are wrapping up. We're about to get on this van life. There will probably only be one more full day of eating here 
before we actually embark on this journey. It starts on the 24th of this month, actually. So it's coming up really fast. Anyways, I appreciate you guys, as always, coming in here, supporting your boy. It means the world to me. I freaking love you guys. I love connecting with you. So if you enjoyed this, leave a comment down below. I do try to answer all of them. Follow me on Instagram if you're not following me already. Give the video a thumbs up if you haven't done that already. And subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I will see you beautiful, amazing, sexy people in the very next video. Peace. Peace.